Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Jason Bouchard, here playing Hogwarts Legacy once again. Uh, game 1, part 8, with the fair do is pick up exactly where we left off. So, we're in the middle of going to get more Moonstone. Hop over there. I'm going to get more Moonstone, and then we'll get more money. Go and uh, buy the remaining stuff that we need. But first, I want to play this game. <clears throat> Hopefully we can get this in a few tries. What are you doing out here? Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. I think it's time you faced a real opponent. Outside of Ronan's little lesson in Charms class, Summoner's Court isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? I'm in. Let's do it. Brilliant! Mm -hmm. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. I think there's going to be so many tries to beat this game. Try to beat that. That was one for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. Lucky shot. Akio. Oh, it gets hard. All in the wrist. <sighs> okay. Akio. Pull it off, pull it off, pull it off. Dang it. Didn't think you were a match for me. Wait, did I win? I won! If I knocked it off, I should have... No, I was still lost because that guy had a 40. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on that round. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Hopefully it doesn't get too complicated. You could use the practice. Summoner's Court. The ever-changing game. Akio. I'm gonna put it over here this time. Try to beat that. Akio. Hang up. Too far. I've seen worse. Nothing to it. That was one for the ages. Akio. All in the wrist. Ah, uh, put it away. All right. Missed the mark a bit on that one. I tried to make it come around, but it didn't work out. <laughs> we should have bet a few galleons on yeah, that round. Yeah, yeah, shut Care up. Care to go again? I'm game for another round. Grand. You could use the practice. Mm. 
Summoner's Court, the ever-changing game. Akio. Try to beat that. Akio. One for the ages. Akio. Nothing to it. up. Where it's hard. Akio. Not bad. Not bad. Well done. You beat me. That took way less time than last time. Bit of good luck, that's all. Come now, Leander. There's no need for that. Fine, you're good. Better than I am, at least. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. The others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. The others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Chin up, Leander. Keep practicing and you'll get better. I suppose you're right. I'll let the others know that you're... All right. They have not responded yet. Okay, so we'll go to our class then. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy, Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> you can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to... Which is his experience. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. 
Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. Oh, couple of these or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> uh, 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 stupid thing. Oh. Tuss Peculiar Poppy, worried about a worthless little rodent. Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts? Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to you. Come here. <clears throat> now that's stuff I have not done yet on my other account. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least, that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Oh, we're going there now? I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you, I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. <sighs> it's a wedding we're having, don't you think? Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Don't worry. We're nearly there. It's just ahead. Stand back. Please meet 
Isn't she just magnificent? Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and High Wing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seemed to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. That does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Point. Hmm. I guess I can go do that part. We do need this spell. All right. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not! Uh, um, from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. We are 
unfortunate. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Uh, ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demiguise. A demiguise? <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demiguises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play. Revelio. Some jackanapes use the boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm, you'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Hmm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. Now, this is the only spell I'm aware of in the game that does not take up a slot. Just walk up to a door and do a mini game that unlocks. Hello, Hamora. So, how the mini game works is that you gotta rotate this pin until one of the lights goes to its point. You turn it until the gear turns. Leave it, push the other keys, and that lights in that node, you turn it until the middle gear starts turning. And that's how you do the mini game. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. This part actually really sucks.
Alohomora. That's fine. We want that room open. Oh, we got caught. Try again. Should have unlocked the door for me. No, it didn't. That's annoying. generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and This must be the prefect's bathroom.
first discover broadens the mind. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Disable all fast travel. Disabled it. Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I had high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. Not easy. Oh, they're leaving me. God. Bro, are you gonna leave? Ah. 
Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Close. Okay. We need a few more of that moon ore. And this is the only place I know where to farm it really well. There's, you know, that cliff side that's got like three different nodes. I wonder if they're empty because... No, oh, no, they're still empty. Always one that's always hidden. Get a little XP for it.
Look out for Ram Velcroft for something to poach. That warrants a lot. The family... <laughs> Admirable trick. You'll need to be quicker than that. Cabrito! safe now. Hey, we can finally do the room requirement quest. Oh man, that took a minute. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Good work. Shall we move on? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. All right. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Yes? Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. I'll be here if you need anything else. Talk to you.
hopefully re spawning the room will get Deke to do what he needs to do. Why won't you do anything, Deke? I have some questions about alteration, Professor. Yes? What can I customize with the altering spell? Alteration allows you to change the appearance of items you've conjured. You can change color, pattern, or style. Thank you, Professor. I have no more questions. I'll be here if you need anything else. Go to the actual quest, see what she wants from me. done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try aiming at the floor or at that balcony whilst using the altering spell. from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience? Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Oh, hmm, sounds perfect. Hmm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. 
You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. space. How did that happen? The room equipped itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Wonderful. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Okay, so I have to do it myself. I love this room. So good. Okay, so now we got the that done. Oh, let's see. What else do we need? Do this. Quest. That one. The Endurance. We have. What was it? The Maxima. Hopefully, I can afford a Maxima potion so that I can do the Sindo. Or a Repello. Welcome. Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. What can I do for you today?
A wise decision. Thank you. Very good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay. Excellent. We're just about caught up for me this class on this account. Professor Sharp is so intimidating. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, because I want that spell next. Should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. Accio! Enchanted books here. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. There's a reason why I'm doing this combo. Rebellion! As a badge. Alohomora. Rebellion. Next on the list is get the ice spell. Or Hogsmeade Station. That's easy. We can get the Glacius spell, and that'll give us our second set of spells that we need. Then we'll probably Handy end resource it. indeed, your field guide. I'm pleased to be included.
did you get on with those tasks? Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. Pay attention to your wand work. your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Place it! There is a new! The ball top can bring her! And yes, I took some of the footage or backdrop from the uh, Hogwarts Quidditch World Cup when they are currently working on a new Quidditch game called uh, Hogwarts Quidditch Champions. It'd be really nice. Anything else we can get? We need a last quick quest. Be one that like slows you down. And with this next part, we're almost pretty much caught up. Almost. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello, Miss Ryan. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Rookwood and Harlow the day of the troll attack. Serona, please. And I was happy to help. Oh, those two are nothing but trouble. Glad you and your friend were here when they found you. I am too. You were speaking to a goblin here that day. Yes, Lodgog. <sighs> He's a friend. It seems as though you were on good terms with him. I've known him for years. We met when I was waiting tables here as a student, well before I bought the place. He was cordial enough, but we weren't friends then. His mistrust of wizard kind ran deep. But you're friends now. We are. I hadn't seen him in years when he came in a few months ago. But he recognized me instantly, which is more than I can say for some of my own classmates. It took them a second to realize I was actually a witch, not a wizard. Not all goblins are like Ranrock and his loyalists. Lodgok is as worried as the rest of us about what's been going on. In that case, I'd like to talk with him about Ranrock in particular. Where might I find him? I assume your interest is to do with the rumors I've heard about Ranrock working with our friend Rookwood. It is. If he's not here, you might find him doing business at the Hog's Head. He's a trusted metal trader. You should mention that we spoke. He can, understandably, be wary of witches and wizards. Even ones as young as you. 
That said, if you're looking for information on Ranrock to help rein him in, you'll find an ally in Lodgok. Thank you, Serona. If you find Lord Gog, please give him my best. I don't know what you've done to make such powerful enemies, but please, watch your back. Revelio. I've given you, and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Alohomora. Rebellion. What do we have here? A demigod. This room was featured in the movie. Damn you guys, we can't get until later. And we can't go to the Hogshead Inn just yet, because I know that's going to be another hour right there. So I'm probably going to go ahead and end today's episode. So that's the end of today's episode. Thank you all for watching. I'm your host, Yusuf Bouchap. That was Hogwarts Legacy. Game 1, Part 8, I, uh, I believe. So I'll have your host, Lisa Bruchup, and I will see ya.